Hey everybody, Coach Toolshed here. Just a real quick video for you tonight, but I need to go back and clarify one of the points that I made in the previous video because after listening to some of the comments that I got, I went back and listened to the audio that I put out once again, and I went back and read CD Projekt Red's official announcement that they made regarding the server shutdown for their free-to-play card game Gwent on consoles. So after I went back and listened, I realized that People who gave me some, this feedback were correct. I need to further clarify what I meant when I said that they're going to be killing the servers on Monday. I said that they're only going to be giving people four or five days notice before they shut down the servers. Now, this is what I actually need to clarify. What's going to be happening on Monday the 9th is they're going to be what they said. They're going to be freezing the servers in place. Basically, that means no more fixes, no more patches, no more expansion content, no more support really of any kind is going to be going onto the console version of the game. They're only going to be supporting PC and iOS going forward and eventually the game is supposed to be coming to Android but that's besides the point. They are essentially killing all the services to the game on Monday. Now I did explain in my video that the servers were going to be still active for a few more months allowing people to transfer their files over to a GOG.com account allowing them to play on the other platforms but what I didn't say and what I should have said is while they are going to be killing the servers there is still going to be some form of matchmaking although we need to also specify exactly what's happening with that. The If you're on PS4, if you're on Xbox One what has been going on with the game up to this point is you've been getting match made with also PC players. It's been a cross-platform matchmaking system. You've been playing with the much wider, much more expansive PC audience when you're playing on consoles. As we know already, the game does not do all that well on consoles. There's not that many players. And that is why they've been going with the cross-platform and the PC players have been part of the matchmaking pool. What's happening on Monday, they are taking you if you're on console they're taking you out of the matchmaking pool with those other platforms you're not going to be able to play with anyone else you're only going to be relegated to your own platform so when i said that they're killing the matchmaking that was really a poor turn of phrase i will say but that is essentially still what's happening they are severely hampering the matchmaking you still will be able to play for a few more months the servers still are getting shut down that's that's not changing the game is still going away at this time next year the game is going to be gone that nothing is really changing here but you will still have some matchmaking access with people on your own platform only but as we know that's going to be a small player base so finding matches is probably going to be a little bit more difficult you but you will still have when i said that they're killing the servers it's really more they're putting the servers on hospice care like i said they still have taken the path of the mobile market they still are abandoning console players, leaving them in a lurch, and their moderators are just waving the terms of service in people's faces. So pretty much everything else I said in that video still stands. I know people got upset with this. There, there was varying people. Some people explained it to me in a rational way. Some people were uh, a little bit more angry and perturbed at the way I said it. And that's fine. I, after going back and watching the video, I should have further clarified that I thought that I had gotten my point across a little bit when I said that the servers were still going to be active for allowing people to transfer files over. But I know after going back and listening, I should have further clarified it. And that's a fair enough point. And as you guys know, if you've been with me for a while, whenever I feel like I've made a big enough error or something that needs to be corrected or clarified in any way, I got no problem going back and doing that. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do here with this video. Now, real quick, before I let you go, I have to point out something that's pretty interesting that happened after I posted the video on Wednesday. When I said at the end of the video, I said that if any other publisher or developer made a move like this, that instantly we would see several of the other big YouTubers start making videos complaining about the situation. Well, something kind of similar happened just yesterday when Bethesda announced that they are canceling their free-to-play card game, and instantly we saw one of the biggest YouTube content creators instantly jump all over that story because of course we know that Bethesda is an easy punching bag. It's an easy target and it's easy to make content decrying the wrongs of Bethesda in the 2019. But of course, like I said, CD Projekt Red, you can't criticize because you will get people upset at you. So when something that is even more, as far as I'm concerned, I guess there's a debate here. Maybe you can give me some feedback on this. What is worse, shutting down a game entirely across the board or only shutting a game down 
for a specific group of players and leaving those one group of players high and dry as opposed to leaving all the players high and dry. I guess there's some points to be made either way. It's an interesting question. Maybe we can have some debate about that down in the comments below. I, anyway, I just thought that that was pretty interesting because, like I said, CD Projekt Red will never have anything even slightly negative said about them on many YouTube channels. And it's just, it's something that I just think, I wish there was more ob objectivity, I guess, a little bit less bias involved when it comes to what we're going to be reporting on. If we're going to be decrying the actions of other publishers and other developers like EA and Bethesda and Ubisoft and Activision, we have no problem doing that. Well, I think we need to be consistent. If we're going to be making content in this vein, I think we need to call it out, even if it's a fan favorite like CD Projekt Red. Anyway. I hope that this video clears up any misconceptions about what I said in the last video. If I misrepresented what I said, I, sh I, I agree. I should have clarified things further when I what I said that they were going to be shutting down the servers on Monday. Not a full shutdown, although that is still coming. They are still cutting players out of the wider matchmaking pool. I should have specified that. I did not. I do apologize if you if you feel like I misrepresented that to you. That is that is on me. Anyway, that's it for me, Coach Toolshed. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Please subscribe if you want to stay in tune with the channel. Head forward and as always, keep it turned to 11.